Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and today's episode number 58. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this is actually going to be a short one, and I know I say that all the time, but this one really is short. I don't have a lot of stuff to share, and plus Jesse's in there playing, so i got to kind of hurry so I can keep an eye on him. But uh, I have three finished objects and a couple whips to show you, and then I'm probably going to go ahead and cut it short. Um, I had some announcements and stuff, but they were in that last video. It's all about the crochet alongs and stuff that I'm participating in. So if you're interested in those, you can go back to number 57, I think it is, and see all that information. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and hop into my uh, finished objects. Uh, one of them, the first one is, I can't hold it up because it's a garland and it's already hanging over there. So I will insert a clip of it uh, while I'm talking. It is the Ghostly Garland by Stitches and Scraps. It is a paid for pattern on Ravelry, but if you go to their website, it is free. And it was part of one of the Halloween crochet alongs that I'm participating in that I mentioned in the last video, the No Catch Your Name episode number 57. So like I said, it's hanging up and you would have just seen it. Uh, I actually did make five of those little ghosts because I was going to make it like swoopy, like the light swoopy. But um, because my wreath is hanging there, I couldn't put another ghost there. So that other ghost is actually hanging, hanging in my bathroom. <laughs> The next finished object I have, uh, he was almost finished last week, and it is the Vampire Amigurumi by Mary Smith. It is a paid for pattern. <laughs> I think he's so cute. Ugh, I'm trying to get hold of him. <laughs> I finished his cape finally. I think he's adorable. <laughs> but yeah, he is paid for pattern, and I did this because it was a crochet along on Made by Mary's um, Facebook group. And I also entered him, I double dipped him into another Halloween crochet along. Uh, but yeah, you could make his, his cape double sided, like it would have been black on the outside and whatever color you wanted on the inside, which I was going to do purple. For the sake of time, I went ahead and just did the black one because. Um, I finished it the night before it was due to be finished, so I wanted to go. Hey, Bubba. Yeah. I wanted to go ahead and finish it, and I thought it looked fine with just black. Hi, you playing? No. Yeah. Are you done playing in the water? Yeah. Okay. Jesse just came back in here, so he might interrupt, but that's all right. But yeah, he was a super quick and fun pattern. I didn't put. Let me sit down. I didn't put um, buttons on there because oh, I figured Jesse would just pull them off. And I didn't put fangs on them just because I didn't want him to look creepy. Hi. <laughs> but yeah, he's all done. Um, <laughs> his head's poking in a set back, okay. He is made with, his skin color is, I love this yarn, light gray. The rest of it's all Red Heart Super Saver, black, white, amethyst. I think that's all the colors on him. And then his eyes are safety eyes from Amazon. And the bat, the white of his eyes is felt. But yeah, he was super quick and easy. I love her patterns, so definitely check them out if you like giant amigurumis. My last finished object is another part of a crochet along going on. Yeah, he's got the vampire now. And it is the Black Cat Halloween Trick or Treat Bag by Rhonda Mall, which is Mbaka Designs. And it's just a little trick or treat bag little purse or something. I'll probably end up seeing if Kat wants this. The girl that I babysit. That's got eyes. Hers had like an X for the nose, but I just didn't do that. It's got ears up here and it is a little bag. <laughs> and yeah, and it's made with Red Heart Super Saver Black and this green is Mainstays Green. I just had a scrap ball of it left over from my Mandala Madness. So I went ahead and just used that. But the pattern calls for this to be made with bulky yarn. Blanket yarn, I think it is. And an... Let's see here, an L hook. I don't have any blanket yarn on hand and I don't really want to like hold a bunch Can of strands see together. The, hold on. I didn't want to hold multiple strands together so I just made it with worsted weight yarn and I went down to a J hook, I think it was. So it's probably smaller than it should have been but that's all right. It's still a cute little bag and I think Kat will like it. It may be a little holy but it's not Holy enough for candy and stuff to fall out of, which is what it's meant for. So, I think she'll like it if she wants it. If she doesn't, I'll just use it as something or let Jesse play with it. You want to play with it? Yeah. There you go. You can play with it. You gonna hold it up? Here. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. This one is kind of coming back and telling me more. 
Yeah. Thank um. you for helping me. <laughs> All right. And like I said, that is another item for another crochet along that I was um, participating in. And um, I think there's three more weeks of it left. So you get plenty of time to enter those if you're interested. And like I also said, in No Catch Your Name number 57, I mentioned all those. Um, and all the links are in the description there. Okay, on to my whips. I only have two active whips right now. I do have some more that I'm about to start, but they're not actually started, so I'm not going to talk about them. <laughs> but the first one is the um, Treasure Island Shaw by it's Hannah. Got at the yeah. yeah. Hannah at the Cozy Cottage Crochet, and this is one I'm making for my mom out of Knit Crate yarn that I got last month. It's Vitalana, and the colorway is Topper Knot or Taper Knot. I can't remember how to pronounce it. But this is right here where this stitch marker is, is where I was last week. So I've added some to it. <laughs> Do you want to close it is? Yeah. So that's how big it is right now. Because it's in one now. I'm almost to the, um, the middle, like the peak of the, the height, <laughs> and then I'll start decreasing it. So that's pretty cool. I think my mom's going to like it. Well, yeah, and that's in my bag that I can't show y'all because it's a new design that I'm working on. It's a secret. <laughs> but, uh, like, I, I showed you the handle last week. <laughs> my last whip is just a hat right now. It's yellow. <laughs> it's pale yellow. And it's already the right size it needs to be. I tried it on Devin's head. It's going to be for him. It's going to be a Pikachu hat from Pokemon Go, but it's not a regular colored Pikachu because he's normally bright yellow and all that. But the hat on... The game Pokemon Go is like pale and almost like confused and sick looking. <laughs> but um, so I made it. This is Red Heart Super Saver Pale Yellow. So I got the hat done. I just have to put ear flaps on it and then make the Pikachu ears and his facial features. His facial features will be like a. I'm not. I was going to. I was going to say stitched on, but I'm not going to stitch it on. It's going to be like a. What are they called? Chevron. I'm going to crochet a little chevron strip for the mouth because his mouth in the picture is like squiggly and then the cheeks and eyes I'm going to stitch on in like spiral confused look I'll pop up a picture of what it's supposed to look like this is the clip from the video game of what I'm aiming for to make this hat with so I do have the hat down I just gotta do the bits and bobs <laughs> attached to it that's all of my whips and finished objects for right now <laughs> I am about to start a few more um, projects but I'm not even gonna talk about them because I haven't even got the yarn out or anything for them yet but yeah, like I said, this is a short episode because of Jesse and I'm um, cooking and all that. You know, I got all kinds of stuff going on right now. I don't know if you can see it back there, but I got a little letter board. It says no kitchen name on it. It does light up. I had it turned on, but when it's on and filming, you can't really see the letters. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to probably go ahead and hop off here and get this edited and up because it is a little late, but that's okay. Uh, I am participating in Vlogtober. If you're interested in those videos, you can watch them. If you're not, you can just wait for the other Yarny re related videos to come out. Um, I don't know if I will be posting every single day in October for Vlogtober because my life's not that interesting. <laughs> but um, I will try to film uh, maybe some clips of each day and put them all together unless we have a really active day that we're going to be busy doing a lot of stuff. And then I will just do one video for that day. <laughs> But yeah, um, like this video if you liked it, share it if you think someone else will like it, subscribe if you're not, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll try to get to them as quickly as I can. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.